Welcome to uh, lecture 2 on module 9. Uh, in module 9, we are discussing on radiation heat transfer. In the last lecture, we have discussed on uh, uh, various uh, basic concepts and various laws of radiation and we introduced ourselves with the uh, 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 all these laws and the concepts. Now, in this lecture, we are going to discuss on uh, radiation intensity and radiation view factor. These are the two important things uh, that particularly uh, that we should know particularly uh, for any radiation calculations. Okay. Radiation heat exchange calculations, these are very important. Now, to start with the radiation intensity, uh, so we will see that uh, how to get an expression for the radiation intensity in this case just before that to, to define the radiation intensity it is the it is the rate of radiation the rate of radiation uh, by a surface uh, I should say that uh, not it is the rate is that the the rate of uh, radiation by a surface is expressed in terms of radiation intensity. Okay. Now, this radiation intensity can be uh, divided into two parts, there are two types, one is called spectral intensity. Okay. and I uh, will denote it as I B lambda, uh, I for intensity lambda indicates the monochromatic that is the spectral and B is for the black body and another one is the total intensity like total emissive power and this is basically I will write it as I B. Now, let us, so we will start with that spectral intensity. we say this is the rate of emission of radiant energy or radiation energy in a particular direction per unit area of the emitting surface which is normal to the direction. The surface is normal to the direction and per unit uh, wavelength lambda per unit solid angle d w. So, per unit of lambda per unit solid angle d w. So, it is the rate of emission of radiation energy in a particular direction per unit area of the emitting surface per normal to the direction that means the emitting surface is taken normal to the direction. So, there will be a projection, projection of the emitting surface normal to the direction of the emission and uh, that is the that is uh, emitted and per unit wavelength and per unit solid angle d w ok. Now, uh, or d omega not d w I should say d omega. So, unit of I b lambda will be equal to watt per meter square per micrometer per SR. So, d omega is the solid angle lambda is the wavelength and so here uh, micrometer is for per unit wavelength and SR is basically steradian this is the unit of solid angle ok. Now, so let us take a small uh, say first I will draw uh, something like this is the x direction, this is a y direction, this is the 
z direction and let us take a small differential area d a and uh, this is a hemisphere surrounding this, this is the circle of the hemisphere and this is the hemisphere surrounding this. So, this is the hemisphere okay. and we will consider any point somewhere here. Uh, so, this, so if we see this it will make okay. now this is the center point and here fine. So, if I take this point and this is at an angle theta and this is d theta. So, this is this angle is theta and this is say d theta okay. and this is phi this one is d phi. Okay. So, this area this will, will be and if I say this is the r this is the r which is nothing but this this is also r. So, this is the hemisphere. Uh, so, this is this portion will be this part will be r d theta r sin theta d theta and this portion will be this portion basically this is r uh, d phi. So, area of this section is of the section say a d a. D A S will be equal to R square, sorry, uh, R sin theta d theta into R d phi. So this is becoming R square sin theta d theta d phi. So this angle is so phi ranges zero to two pi and theta ranges 0 to pi by 2. So, these are the two angles so, it is a spherical coordinate now this uh, 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 this is a d a this is a area d a. So, a differential area d a d a is surrounded by a hemisphere of radius r. So, this radius of hemisphere is equal to r and incidentally this is the center point o. O is the center of the differential area d a as well as the center of the hemisphere. Okay. So, area of hemisphere surface area basically two pi r square total area of this sphere is four pi r square so is half of this is equal to two pi r square and now projection of d a that is the base area a projection of d a uh, normal to r direction is uh, d a cos theta. Okay. Now, um, uh, the differential rate of radiant energy emission from the surface d a around a wavelength lambda should be should be uh, like this. Uh, d q dot for black body for lambda wavelength is proportional to this is proportional this is the differential energy emitted should be uh, d a cos theta that is in the direction of the projection in the direction of the surface 
and d omega is the solid angle into d lambda that is emitted by this uh, from small area d a and d q dot b lambda is given as i b lambda d a cos theta into d omega d lambda this and this is i b lambda is or this also can be written as now i b lambda d a cos theta and d omega can be written as d a s by r s square that is the solid angle d a s by r square r square is the distance d s is the surface on the hemisphere into d lambda. So, this is called uh, solid angle d omega is equal to d a s by r square. So, d q dot b lambda is given by this expression and, and we can say that uh, I this is I b lambda here it is called this is the proportionality constant it is the proportionality constant and it is also called as this is called as a spectral radiation intensity. Okay. Now, uh, for the total intensity we have to do the integration that is I b, I b will be equal to 0 to infinity I b lambda d lambda this is called total uh, radiational intensity. Now, if we just see the spectral emissive power would like to now this is what is the relationship we have got for the. Uh, so, I b can be obtained from this. So, I b is called the proportional uh, these things and I b is the total uh, I b is called proportionality constant and it is also called the spectral radiation intensity which is written like this and I b total uh, radiation intensity is that uh, is, is this uh, 0 to infinity. Uh, I b lambda d lambda. Now, if we have to uh, develop a relationship between emissive power and the uh, intensity, then spectral emissive power is given as uh, d q dot differential amount b lambda that is equal to say E b lambda dash. That means, E b lambda we know the spectral emissive power and not only that and E b lambda dashed means it is in a particular direction. So, E b lambda dash is a directional spectral emissive power this is called directional spectral emissive power and we know that d q dot also again can be written as d a d omega d lambda. Okay. And so, this is uh, also we know that it is d i b lambda d a cos theta d a s d lambda by r square. Okay. Here we know that E b dash is equal to this and all other terminologies are known d a s is we have just seen r square sin theta d theta d phi we have seen at the beginning and then what we can write is that d w sorry d omega is that um, uh, this is called solid angle is d a s by r square and that is equal to sin theta d theta d phi and so e b lambda dash d omega is equal to i b lambda cos theta sin theta d theta d phi and now hemispherical uh, 
uh, MEC power can be obtained by uh, integrating the directional emissive power E dash B lambda over the hemispherical surface. So, E B lambda is equal to for over the solid angle, angle E B dash D omega for the whole angle. So, this is equal to 0 to 2 pi phi equals to 0 to 2 pi theta is equal to 0 to pi by 2 I B lambda cos theta sin theta D theta D phi. Okay, and then after integration and putting the values, we will get E B lambda is equal to pi I B lambda. So, this is called hemispherical MSC power of the work body. Now, so this is equal to pi times the, so hemispherical MSC power. of a black body is uh, pi times the spectral intensity hemispherical also spectral emissive power we can say spectral intensity uh, of radiation. Okay. Now, again further integrating over the whole range. So, E b the hemispherical emissive power for the whole wavelength if you say E b will be equal to say 0 to infinity for the all the angles uh, sorry all the wavelengths this will be equal to pi 0 to infinity I b lambda d lambda and this is equal to E b is equal to pi into I b. So, that again the uh, uh, emissive power total emissive power of a black body is pi times the total intensity of the black body. So, this is the relationship that can be derived. Now, coming to next part. So, this is the radiation intensity and radiation intensity and uh, uh, MSC power relationships. Now, coming to the radiation view factor. This very important uh, thing is uh, which is radiation view factor. What is meant by that is that uh, suppose a, a surface is uh, radiating some uh, uh, energy. Uh, that uh, it can that any as because it is a diffuse surface normally the surfaces are diffuse in nature. So, that radiational energy goes to in all the directions. So, the point is that uh, uh, that is a surrounding surface which is receiving the energy may not be the whole energy that is being emitted by a surface is being received by the other uh, other surface uh, nearby surface. So, therefore, uh, there must be a fraction of the energy that is being received by uh, that particular uh, uh, surface. So, to, to, to find out that how much fraction, what fraction it can uh, receive uh, that is being expressed in terms of a view factor. That means, to what extent or what fraction of one surface is viewing the other surface that is the basic idea. So, that is also called a uh, view factor. So, a definition of a uh, view factor if we say that it is also called. Um, so, so, definition of view factor say if I say that f i j is the view factor, it is also called shape factor, it depends upon the shape of the surface, 
it also called as a configuration factor so there are several names and so between two surfaces surface i and surface j so what is this the fraction of energy of the total energy again the radiation energy or radiant energy that is emitted by the surface i and is intercepted by the surface j okay so the few factor is called this it also alternatively it is the uh, a fraction a fraction of energy radiational energy radiant energy leaving surface i which reaches surface j that means from ith surface that fraction of energy that reaches to the uh, surface j that is called v factor or radiational uh, shape factor or radiational configuration factor now to develop a mathematical expression expression for v factor this is the target so let us see that this is one object and this is another uh, uh, surface object of a surface now small surfaces are this so i will say that this is surface say, ai and this is surface aj and here this is dai differential and this is daj differential uh, area of the surface and they are at a distance r from each other but r is the distance connecting them but r makes an angle say theta i with the normal of the surface a and say angle theta so if i say like this so this is the say uh, theta j okay this one theta j with the normal this is the normal for this surface this is the normal for this surface so uh, r is the distance uh, between the two surface r uh, distance between two surfaces dai and daj theta i is the angle between d a i and its between r r and the normal of d a i similarly theta j is the angle between d a j and the normal to d a j okay now uh, if i b i is the total intensity of radiation that means it includes all the wavelengths okay as we have seen that just now uh, emitted by the surface say d a i okay uh, and intercepted 
by the surface dAj. Then we say that dQ dot ij equals to i b i. The, so, i is the emitted by this intensity of the radiation emitted by the surface. Say, so, it is better to write like this. Intensity of the radiation emitted by the surface a i then the then the amount of radiation emitted by dai and intercepted by daj now it is uh, in case of black bodies so, both bodies are black bodies. Uh, we can write that d q dot i j. So, amount of energy that is coming from d a i and going to and it is being intercepted received by d a j and that is equal to i b i into d a i into cos theta i d omega i j. This is the solid angle subtended by them by d a j on this d a i and so d omega i j is basically the solid angle subtended by area d a j into cos theta j by r square, r square is the distance between these two points. Then d q dot i j can be written as i b i d a i d a j cos theta i cos theta j divided by r square. Okay. Now, after integrating we get that q dot i j the total for the total surface area a i it will be integral of a i integral of a j for both the surface between the total surfaces a i and a j it will be i b i d a i d a j cos theta i cos theta j divided by r square. Okay. And this can be written as now uh, integral i b i is taken is the proportionality constant. So, this will be constant a i integral a j and then cos theta i cos of theta j divided by r square into d a i into d a j. Now, the total amount of radiation q rate emitted by surface, now total amount of radiation q dot i that is emitted by the surface a i this is the emitted what may not be intercepted by surface j this is emitted by surface a a i but may not be intercepted by surface j whatever is intercepted by surface j is this one is this one uh, this is one intercepted by the q i j but total amount emitted is q dot j uh, q dot i and that is given as q dot i and that is equal to that is based on the mc power e b i and that already we have seen that this is a i into pi into intensity that this we have already proved that e b i is equal to pi into i b i and therefore, now from the definition of view factor f i j will be equal to uh, q dot i j by q dot i that is just the view factor as, the, as per the definition of view factor and that will be 1 by uh, pi a i integral a i integral a j cos theta i cos theta j by r square d a i d a j. Okay. And similarly, uh, view factor f j i will be 1 by pi a j into integral a j integral a i 
into cos theta j cos theta i by r square d a j d a i similarities. Now, if you see here, so a i into f i j will be equal to a j into f j i. So, comparing these two equations, comparing we get a i f i j is equal to a j f j i. So, this is a very very uh, well known relationship this is called reciprocity relationship. So, this derivation is being made uh, for black body uh, though the derivation is made for black body uh, though the derivation is made for black body uh, it is well applicable for any other bodies also it is well applicable for any other bodies also provided the radiation is diffuse radiation. So, it should not be specular radiation, diffuse radiation. Okay. Now, uh, so we have now seen that, uh, sorry, we have now seen that uh, emissive, um, what is that called, um, the relationship uh, for Fij. Uh, or f j i that relationship also we have got and we have also got a relationship for a reciprocity relationship that we have got. Now, another point that the number of view factors for say suppose for uh, a black body enclosure of n surfaces the total uh, view factors, number of view factors would be would be n square and they are represented by a matrix called view factor matrix. Typically, say if I say that for n h surface f 1 1, f 1 2, f 1 3 and then f 1 n, f 2 1, f 2 2, f 2 3, f 2 n, then like this f 3 1 a, sorry f n 1, f n 2, f n 3, and like this f n n this is called the view factor matrix which is by n by n matrix the square matrix. So, this is called view factor matrix. Now, uh, there are uh, different ways we can find out this view factors if you see that uh, the various charts are available to find out the view factors for different geometries. This is a particular geometry you can see here the view factor for parallel rectangles. These are there are rectangles this 1 and 2, this 1 and 2 these are the two rectangles so they are in parallel and we see that uh, for different uh, parameters like one is b this is a view factor 1 to 2 the fraction of 1 that is being received by 2 surface 2 f 1 2 that the fraction of 1 that is being received by 2 is represented by this figure where b is given by w by d and uh, this a is for different values of a and a is given by l by w for uh, l by d and d is the distance of separation between these two. So, we, we can from the from this chart uh, we can find out the view factor for this which is very important that to find out this view factor. Similarly, uh, there is another uh, figure is there. So, the standard charts are available in the literatures in the books. So, uh, one can use these standard charts to calculate uh, the heat exchanger problems radiation and heat exchanger problems. Here it is that we can see that there is an ad, uh, these are perpendicular. So, this is a 90 degree angle and uh, this is the common edge between two a 1 and a 2 these are the two surfaces 
and these are the different dimensions of the surfaces and A is B by C and B is A by C. So, there is B and for different values of A this F 1 2 is, a, is again calculated and there is another case like is known to us this is the radius which is nothing but R 2 and this is the radius for surface 1 which is capital R 1 and there are two parameters one is called L by R 1 and this is called R dash which is R 2 by L. Okay. Based on that F 1 2 again is calculated and these are the different class for different values of uh, these things. So, from the charts this is somebody has done and these charts can be uh, obtained by doing that already we have developed a relationship that F 1 2 can be found out between two surfaces by this. The, the, this kind of relationship can be used to find out the uh, values of these uh, view factors and then uh, uh, this can be plotted to generate this kind of charts. So, theoretically we can have an expression for view factors and then those expressions can be solved to generate the charts for view factors for different kind of geometries that is also possible. However, when we have the geometries available with us, we can use those geometries and try to find out these view factors. A typical uh, application of the uh, equation that what we have developed uh, just for view factors, if we would like to see for the case of say two concentric uh, uh, circles uh, uh, so concentric disks if we see that this is a bigger disk and this is a very small disk or little bigger this is a little smaller disk and they are concentric in nature and they say uh, okay, so this is the uh, center line for them. The center line should match. So these are the concentric one, and say uh, for a, a differential region of this. Okay, and uh, so this is the distance of separation between them. Center so this is this, and at a distance say r, it is from the center this is r okay and this is say at a point and this this is say r naught okay and this is da1 now so if this is this whole one is say a2 so if da1 to a2 if i try to find out if da1 to a2 that will be uh, 1 by pi da1 from the equations we have seen a2 into cos theta 1 cos theta 2 by r square d a 1 d a 2 and we are telling that there are uh, these are the two uh, concentric uh, disks. So, theta 1 will be equal to theta 2 okay, and r square is equal to uh, l square plus r square. So, at any point r this is r and this is l. Okay, this is L. So, L square plus R square is equal to uh, R square like this and we can find out that cos of theta it is equal to theta say it will be equal to L by root over of L square plus R square and d a 2 at a distance d a 2 differential area at a distance R will be equal to twice pi R into d R 2 pi R into this distance is d R. Okay. Now, uh, because this is a differential area, so d a 1 d a 1 cancels with each other, then what we can get is that f d a 1 uh, 2 a 2 is equal to 1 by pi d a 1 d a 1 cancels and this integration will be 0 to r naught, r naught is the radius of the uh, a 2 surface and this is l square by uh, l square plus r square into 1 by L square plus R square into 2 pi R dr. So, if we do the integration we will get it to be R naught square plus L square plus R naught square. Okay. So, this is becoming the uh, view factor from smaller d a 1 to a 2. So, if I want to find out for f a 2 to d a 1 how to get it? It is practical simple by putting by applying reciprocity relationship. That means, we know that a 
2 d a 2 f a 2 d a 1 will be equal to d a 1 f d a 1 a 2. So, from here we can find out f a 2 2 d a 1 will be equal to d a 1 by a 2 into f d a 1 to a 2. So, the f d 1 to a 2 already we have calculated. So, we can now calculate f a 2 to d a 1 pretty easily. So, this is an uh, a demonstration of the, uh, uh, the that uh, mathematical expressions that we uh, developed for uh, few factor. Okay. Now, one more thing I just want to say here is that uh, a view factor matri matrix we have seen. So, a reciprocity relationship already we have seen. So, if I say that uh, there is a 4 surface enclosure, okay. then number of uh, view factor matrices Uh, view factors. So, number of view factors will be uh, 16. So, the matrix would be is 4 by 4 matrix. Okay. Now, number of reciprocity relationship will be for all the surfaces there will be one like f 1 1 plus f 2 2 uh, f 1 1 plus f 1 2 plus f 1 2 plus f uh, so that is what what I wanted to see that say uh, the number of reciprocity relationship would be uh, um, it is uh, 4 into n into uh, or rather I should say 4 into 4 minus 1 by 2 that means if I have n numbers of surfaces say for one surface I will have I will have n minus 1 such things. So, a 1 f 1 2 a 1 f 1 3 like this. So, uh, and then this will be repeated. So, therefore, we will be having n into uh, n into n minus n into n minus 1 by 2 uh, reciprocity relationship. Okay. And this becomes now uh, uh, 3 into uh, 2 6 and then another thing is there is that uh, the another relationship is summation of f i j is equal to 1. What I say is that there is a surface 1 and surface 1 to uh, say we can say that uh, the all the energies supplied from surface 1 to different surfaces summation of all these should be equal to 1. So, this kind of relations we will be having for n surfaces we will have n relations. So, in, in this case in the present case this is uh, present case it is uh, 4 such relations. Typically say f 1 1 plus f 1 2 plus f 1 3 plus f 1 4 equal to 1 f 2 1 plus f 2 2 plus for surface 2 plus 2 3 plus f 2 4 is equal to 1 and so on like this there will be 4. Okay. Uh, if I write that f 3 1 plus f 3 2 plus f 3 3 plus f 3 4 is equal to 1 and a 4 1 plus f 4 2 plus f 4 3 plus f 4 4 is equal to 1.0. There will be such 4 relationships these are being available for this. Okay. Now, uh, uh, the relationship between uh, uh, say factors uh, some more problems that discuss relationship uh, between say factors. Okay. For example, say this is a surface say A 3 and let us say there is another surface say, uh, uh, say A 1 and this is A 2. Okay. Now, uh, 
safe factor for radiation from A3 to combined area A12. Uh, safe factor uh, from A3 to combined uh, surface A12 is desired. Okay. Then what we write that A3 to 1 2 that is what is needed that is a safe factor this should be equal to can be written as 3 1 plus A3 2. So, between two plates A3 to 1 and A3 3 to 2 that can be uh, so from there we can say that and A3 F3 to 1 2 will be equal to A3 F3 1 plus A3 f 3 to 2 and from reciprocity relation a 3 f 3 to 1 2 will be equal to a 1 2 f 1 2 2 2 3 ok and a 3 f 3 to 1 is equal to a 1 f 1 to 3 and a 3 f 3 to 2 equals to a 2 f 2 to 3. Okay. Then if you do the analysis then you will get that uh, a 1 2 2 f into f 1 2 to 3 that is equal to a 1 f 1 3 plus a 2 f 2 to 3 and f 1 2 2 3 equals to f 1 2 2 plus f 1 2 3. So, total radiation arrived at surface 3 total radiation arriving at surface 3, 3 is the sum of uh, radiation from surface 1 and 2, surfaces 1 and 2. Okay. Now, uh, total radiations arriving at surface 3 is the sum of the additions from surface 1 and surface 2. Now, similarly, uh, we are like to see that another case like say um, if you would, uh, are interested uh, to know the radiation for this uh, say factor say. Okay, like this. So, this is A 1 this is say a 2 and this is a 3. Interest is to find out to find f 1 to 3. If this is the interest 1 to 3 because they are not adjacent. So, for uh, we can find out f 1 to 2 3 we can find out from figure we discussed. Uh, so, this figure is that um, uh, perpendicular uh, rectangles. Similarly, f 1 to 2 also can be found out from figure. Uh, okay. Now, our, our interest would be to find out uh, f 1 to 3. So, we can say that if 1 to 2 3 is equal to f 1 to 2 plus f 1 to 3. So, we can find out from here that f 1 to 3 that is my target f 1 to 2 3 minus f 1 to 2. So, we know the value of this, we know the value of this, then we can find out the value of f 1 to 3 from the figure. Okay. Now, some problems, 
say uh, we have say uh, a semi hemisphere determine the view factor matrix for the hemispherical enclosure. The hemispherical enclosure is like this. This is the hemispherical enclosure, it is this and this is R. Okay. So, radius is R. So, this part is surface 2 and this part is surface 1. Okay. So, view factor matrix is is equal to f 1 1, f 1 2, f 2 1, f 2 2 and we know from the relationship f 1 1 plus f 1 2 is equal to 1 and f 1 1 equal to 0. The reason is that for a flat surface any point of a flat surface cannot see the other point of the same flat surface. Therefore, uh, the f 1 1 will be equal to 0 and this is true for a convex, con convex surface also flat surface and the convex surface any point on a flat or convex surface cannot see the other point of the same convex and flat surfaces. Therefore, it is 0 and then f 1 2 is equal to 1 and then we can find out from a 1 f 1 2 will be equal to a 2 f 2 1 and then f uh, 2 1 will be equal to a 1 f 1 2 by a 2 and this is pi r square by 2 pi r square. Okay. 2 pi r square is the hemispherical area. So, this is equal to half and that is equal to 0 0.5. So, f 2 2 also is equal to 0 0.5. So, view factor matrix is equal to uh, 0 1, 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. Okay. Similarly, there is a say problem, another problem is that uh, find the view factor matrix for the two concentric long cylinders radi uh, exchanging radiation heat. So, it is like this. So, this is a big cylinder is a small cylinder and if I say that uh, uh, say this is surface 1 and the in inner surface is surface 2 and uh, say R 1 and this is say R 2. Okay. So, R 1 is equal to outer dia radius of inner pipe cylinder long hollow cylinder okay. and R 2 is equal to inner radius of outer cylinder fine. Then what we will get is for inner cylinder f 1 1 plus f 1 2 is equal to 1 and f 1 1 is equal to 0. So, f 1 2 again is equal to 1. Now, f 1 2 1 will be equal to a 1 f 1 2 by a 2 and that is equal to I will say that twice pi r 1 l into 1 by twice pi r 2 into l this is equal to r 1 by r 2 fine. So, f 2 2 is equal to 1 minus f 2 1 is equal to 1 minus r 1 by r 2. So, v f m is equal to uh, 0 1 r 1 by r 2 and 1 minus r 1 by r 2. So, this is the view factor matrix. So, this way uh, we can find out the view factors for different cases. We can use that analytical expressions, we can use that uh, graphical representations, whatever is the available and then we can go for the calculations of radiational heat exchange which we are going to discuss in the next classes. Thank you.